Hi, this is Teachtopia TV, Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on how to find the area of a square. This is probably one of the simplest formulas in math, but um, nonetheless, let's review it to make sure that we get our problems right that call for the area of a square. Well, a square is unique in that every one of the sides has the same measurement. So for example, if we have five inches right here, five inches, we are also going to have five inches right here, five inches right here, five inches right here. Now pay attention in that we still have a label that we have to pay attention to when we finally um, list our answer. In this case it would be inches and depending on whether um, your teacher um, wants a um, old school way of looking at it, they're going to say square inches or more modernly often um, we do more the metric answer we simply say inches squared. But nonetheless the area of a square is going to be area equals width times height. This too has often, this has superseded the whole idea of length times width. Modernly we're going to say width times height. So basically we have two measurements here, 5 and 5. So area equals 5 times 5 area equals 25 inches squared or um, your teacher might insist on you writing something similar to, to this or 25 square inches. Both um, give you this uh, are the same answer and both are um, modernly a correct label but um, so the area formula for area is going to be, for those of you that want to see um, it written a little more mathematically, um, in this case is simply going to be area equals side squared, correct? So that's one side squared given that all the sides are squared. So we've actually been given two formulas, haven't we? Area equals width times height and area equals side squared. Um, hopefully it wasn't too confusing for you because the formula for area is simply multiplying two of the sides. Okay? And then we have our answer. This was Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on how to find the area of a square.